all ready to start. Thanks again for sticking around. I do want to mention, um, this is Mi'kmaq and the Tibetan Youth Dance Troupe, Dance and Music Troupe from Burlington today. Um, and I want to mention a few more of our sponsors before they start. We have been thanking our platinum sponsors, the Hunger Mountain Co-op, NBC5, VSECU, Onion River Outdoors, Union Mutual, Capital Community Church, Consolidated Communications, and we have a number of other sponsors. Please take a look here on the banner. Um, and we want to thank them all. This has been a wonderful event. Um, we hope you'll stick around for a costume parade up to the downtown, up to the down, <laughs> up to the downtown after this show um, at four o'clock. So then we'll commence our trick-or-treating downtown. So thanks again, and this is Migmar. Hello, Tashi Delek. Tashi Delek. <laughs> Let's do it one more. Say Tashi Delek back to me. Tashi Delek. Tashi Delek. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So Tashi Delek, uh, we are a, a group of Tibetan Vermonters from Burlington. For the Tibetans, keeping our identity and sharing it with the world is crucial because of the situation inside and outside Tibet. We are all members of Tibetan Association of Vermont, a very closely knit uh, community with about uh, 160 people. Tibetans are the true refugees, but due to some political reason, we do not get the refugee status and all the benefits along with that. We are we all started from scratch, and as of now, we are doing pretty well. Uh, we teach our kids uh, Tibetan language. We teach them uh, Tibetan songs, dances, and music. The only wish we have is to have a community center for ourselves so that we can have a place where, he, where we can feel we belong. Today, on this beautiful rainy day, <laughs> we are here to share with you some Tibetan music, some songs, and some dances. So to start with, I am going to play a flute melody. So that is called Lu. In the wilderness of Tibet's nomadic area, you might often hear someone singing a song in a very high pitch. The song plays a very important role in their daily life to, to be happy in the wilderness and letting others know someone is there. It, often used, it is often used for communicating with someone in distance. The nomadic songs are very funny and very delightful to hear. It is also like a lullaby to the animals, their grace. The loot that I'm going to present now, it conveys this message. On those beautiful summer green meadow are the joyous and colorful herds of yak, sheep, goat, and horses. Singing deep in the melody of Lu, the nomad song, reflecting the pure and happy life of a Tibetan nomad. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I am going to present you the melody on the flute. And I welcome to I welcome all of you to enjoy Tibet, which is the land of snow, the zone of peace, the third pole, the Shangri-La on the globe, and my country, Tibet.
So now it's the exciting moment of the day. As you can see, the bright future seeds of Tibet. We are here, 12 of them, and I have started this class not long ago, but they had been really, really good in learning Tibetan music, Tibetan songs, and very soon they'll, they will be learning Tibetan dance also. So today, I cannot wait to present you their first performance, playing Tibetan Dranyan. And the song that we are going to sing or play is called Sunda Lemosu. It says, don't say there is no gem in Lhasa Nobulinga. Lhasa is the capital city of Tibet and Nobulinga is the summer palace of His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Don't say there is no gem in Lhasa Nobulinga. Who else is Yishin Norbu, which is the Dalai Lama? Do you think he is? Don't say there is no gem in a Tibetan young man. What else are his tales, scholastics, and the computing skills? Don't say there is no gem in a beautiful Tibetan lady. What else her are uh, her turquoise corals and ambers that she wear, bringing glamour. <laughs> so the song actually teach us how to bring positive attitude, how to see what is good in others. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Sunda Lemuso from none other than my favorite.
flying without a destiny while celebrating those wings, I saw Dharamsala, a little Hassa in India. When I looked at him, he looked at me. When I saw the turquoise Gandhim Podam, the foundation of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, tears rolled down my eyes without control. So ladies and gentlemen, a song called When I First Left Home.
Puchanan, thank you. So next we have next we have a group dance uh, from Kham region of Tibet. So there is a common saying that Tibetan people dance when they start work, walking and sing when they start talking. In Tibet, dancing and singing accompany every occasion such as harvest celebrations, weddings, religious and local festivals. Tibetan dancing always accompanies festivals and celebrations. These festivals were held in beautiful locations in the summer and fall. They may last for a few days and can include setting up tents, cooking extravagant meals, making butter and milk tea, offering rituals to local deities, and even horse racing. These gatherings are always great opportunities for dancing, singing, and playing. People dress up with their traditional clothing. They make a big circle around campfire and dance as they sing. Wedding celebrations have lots of dancing and singing. People send their best wishes and blessings through their traditional dance and folk songs. Overall, dancing is a very important part of Tibetan culture. It is through dance and song that people express their happiness and gratitude for the good things in life. Next, we are going to entertain you with a folk dance from Kham region of Tibet called Trinjan Arilo. Presenting the dance, we have Mr. Dorji, Mr. Namdal, Mrs. Yanki, Mrs. Tenzin Vese, and myself. Please enjoy the come dance called Trinjan Arilo.
with a Tibetan modern dance. Good job. So since the we have two more, I'm going to share with you one song that I composed uh, just to use this time while they change their costume for the next dance. And then after that, we might have to say goodbye. Uh, the song that I'm going to sing is uh, called Yintop and No Sang.
So, ladies and gentlemen, the song says something like this. On the golden bridge was the most beautiful princess, Yinchol Hamo. Then came the fearless prince, Norsang, from the north and took Yintok with him. Over the endless uh, meadows, as Yino and Norsang travel, sharing true love with each other, a permanent relationship was born. To omit all the obstacles of life, Yinto and Norsang visited Samling Gumba, the most sacred monastery, and offered their most sincere prayers. So like a fairy tale, they lived happily ever after. And with the hope that everyone will find their own true love, I am here to present a song that I have written and composed called Yintong Hamo. Check. Hello. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Now last, maybe not, not the least, maybe during some other more beautiful time, <laughs> we can have more fun here. But now we have the last dance. Uh, it is called Yerki uh, Tramo. Yerki Tramo in the sense the thin summer, meaning the short summer. So just like we have short summer in Vermont, we have short summer in uh, Tibet also. Next, we are going to perform a dance from Yuzhang region of Tibet, known as Tibet's Autonomous Region. Such dances are known as Tushe and are performed during all occasions. The dance brings out the elegance of playing dragon, singing and dancing difficult and fast steps all one at a time. The song that we are going to, uh, the dance that we are going to present now, it conveys the message like during the short summer festival, the bamboo fence was giving, perf uh, giving protection from outside as sitting inside is the gem, none, of, none other than His Holiness the Dalai Lama. How prosperous we are, how prosperous we are. So presenting Yerki Tramo, a folk dance from Yuzang region of Tibet. Thank <laughs> you. 